You know, my family situation in Cuba before we immigrated to the U.S. was very chaotic. It was, uh, you know, in, in the very early 60s, 1960, 61. And uh, as a lot of Cuban families that immigrated here, uh, we were being persecuted by the, the current government in Cuba. Uh, my father had just barely escaped with his life. And my mother was looking for a way to get us out of Cuba so we can join my father uh, in, in Miami. So it was very chaotic, especially for a five-year-old who had no idea what was going on. You know, my mom is my hero. She is the most incredible, strongest woman I have ever met. Here she was, two little boys, in a country torn in civil war. Uh, and all she could think about was getting us out of Cuba. My mother had to make, uh, use jewelry to make payments to help us get off the island. And once she was able to uh, pass along jewelry, all, all the family jewelry we had, not a lot, but a little bit, uh, they were able to help us then secure a visa to leave the island, which is what we did. So when we left Cuba, uh, because we were leaving basically on a day visa, on a travel visa, we had almost nothing but the clothes on our back. I was wearing shorts, short sleeve shirt. My mother was in a sundress. My little brother, uh, Jose Miguel, was wearing the same outfit, just little cute little shorts. And my mom had a little purse with her. We had no family albums, no clothes, no money. And that's how we landed to start our new lives in America, with nothing but the clothes on our back. My mom's actions carried forward for me a lot. Uh, not just the sacrifices she made at getting us off the island during a time of turmoil, uh, but the sacrifices we made once we got to America to help other families. So it was always not about us in the moment. It was what we can do. Now we're here safe. How can we get other families out, her brother, her sisters, uh, friends? And that's what we strive for. The first 10 years we were here in America, all we did was help other families escape the freedom here and immigrate here to the United States. My first job at the age of 16, you see me smiling because I had no idea where I would be 48 years later, right? So my first job, my only job my entire life has been with McDonald's. I started at 16 part-time like most high school kids to help my family pay for my high school education, help the, some expenses at the home, and I got really into it. I love the people. I love that I can make a difference as I got older. And then fast forward, by the time I was 31, 32, I bought my first McDonald's. But at 16, working French fries, cleaning tables. You could have told me, Santiago, in 48 years, you're gonna own 19 stores. And I would have said, you're nuts. And life takes some interesting turns. And it was just the people, and, and the more I got into it, the more I, I just enjoyed it. And this is a, 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 a profession that you can help people. So if, even if you try to help 20 and only one makes it, that's worth it. That is so worth it. So it's, it's, I, I love it because it gave me a chance to give back. Uh, McDonald's gave me that opportunity to give back, and, and, I, and I love every minute of it. I want to tell you a little bit about my involvement here with the Ronald McDonald House Charities. You know, when I first came to uh, Alabama six years ago, uh, Catherine, who's the director here, was, Santiago, you have to come. So I came, I toured, and, and I was honored that they invited me to be a board member, and, and it's been an incredible relationship. Uh, in the time I was here as a board member, we almost doubled the size of the house. To be here, to give back, it was a way for me to touch more families to give back to more families. Uh, in fact, one of the programs uh, we were able to start uh, that we used to do in, in New York and Connecticut was a penny a pound. So every pound of fry we sell, we donate a penny to the house. Wow, what a great way to help to build this beautiful house that now serves over 70 families every night to help children from all walks of life, whether they're Hispanic, African-American, Asian, Anglo, doesn't matter. It's open to everyone. Todo es de familia. This is all about family. And I love that. I started this family heritage and I think it'll be carried on. Uh, you know, my family is very involved with it. Uh, I work with my younger brother, Russell, 
uh, in the organization. And then like my son James also works as an owner operator here with us. So it's, uh, it's very exciting. I think it's a great family heritage and, Mc and McDonald's helps us. There's so many uh, next gen McDonald's owner operators in the system um, that it just, it's a family business. My family's work ethic has impacted me tremendously. Just knowing that she made those sacrifices has driven my entire life. I've found my own niche. If I can give back to my community here, if I can help these people, um, it makes me happy. And, and the biggest thing is we gave back. And you give back, and that's how you do it. I know no other way.